fine outdoor sport of girl watching. The SA emerges from the women, women's liberation movement's insistence that there was a politics of the body, a politics of the female body, just as later on there was a politics of uh, the gay lesbian body. So, in a sense, this was a pioneering moment of in making that insistence on the politics of the body. But as soon as you had a politics of the body, you went on to a politics of the representation of the body. And so, away from the campaigns about abortion, contraception, um, controlling sexualities, which came under what one might call the discourses of the legal and the medical, one then went on to the question of the language of images, and uh, which demanded necessarily a certain theorization. So theory was actually literally a political weapon. Um, it was moving, as I think I say in the introduction, from um, a fascination with the films that I was writing about to a fascination that was displaced into the mechanics of fascination. And so how do you analyze fascination? How do you analyze those kind of questions? And so the direction shifted from uh, the woman as spectacle, naturalized in popular culture, uh, to the patriarchal psyche that had constructed that spectacle. And that, I think, demanded that semiotic psychoanalytic thing. I often like to think about it, as Orson Welles said, as dollar book Freud. Mm rather than actual Freud, because it was a political weapon. That the essay, in a strange way, seeing that I never used the first person singular, was actually autobiographical, in the sense that it, uh, it did literally describe my way of watching films when I was absorbed in the Hollywood cinema of the studio system. Because uh, during the 60s, instead of watching the new American cinema, I really watched the kind of Hollywood cinema that was made in the 50s. And I watched the films with a male uh, mode of address. I mean, I felt I was being addressed by the films uh, with a masculine discourse, which came out, actually, of the cinema itself that was being used. Um, and so what happened to me in the aftermath of the encounter with the women's movement was that suddenly I was jolted out of that way of looking and found that I was detached from the screen, detached from the story, and that blissful sense of loss of self into the world of the cinema, and suddenly became a woman looking at films which I loved and now began to irritate me. Um, and this, I think, is that sense of that lost, invisible uh, look. Um, and of course, a number of um, black and gay theorists, as Isaac has pointed out, have also talked about that jolt uh, out of uh, the attentive viewing into the critical viewing.